Hello, Wolfmind here, and welcome to the Sydney Fairy Pack, which is a f my first fairy pack I've done. I was uh, looking around the interwebs, and I found a decent-looking uh, fairy company. They're just called Sydney Fairies. And they have uh, old ships, which you can see a few of them in front of me, and then they have uh, newer ones, which are down towards the end. I did, uh, the way I built this, they have a ton of ships. They have, like, over 30 and I, all I did was just build one of each class, except for the lady class, because the lady class, both of the ships in that class are different lengths, so I had to build them both, and they're slightly different. So yeah, we're going to start off with the first one now. Forgive me, because I do not know how to pronounce most of these names. I'll try my best, but I'm not perfect. Okay. All right, so the first one, I believe, is pronounced the Coloroy, and it is a freshwater class, which is the largest ship in the Sydney Ferry Company, and they have uh, their, what do you call them? I don't know, they go back and forth. They have a uh, rudder and uh, propellers on each side, or props. I forgot the name. I think it's like Row Row or something. I'm not too sure on all the fa ferry terms. And this is my first ferry I've ever built, so yeah, it's a learning experience for both of us. But yeah. I gave you a little. I gave you a little overview there. Then I'll show you around on the inside. We got lots of seating, of course, because this is more of a harbor taxi or a water taxi. At least that's what King calls them. Me, not so much. But this down here is the engine room, and uh, it's a, it's a pretty small ship, but it has a full engine room, and it's the only ship with the engine room in this pack. Just because I couldn't fit and uh, fit the engines in in the smaller ships, so we're gonna head upstairs and then we're gonna go up to the bridge and then we're just pretty much call it a day for this or uh, this ship. So yeah, more seating up here. It's all seating up here, and if we go wrap around, this goes up to where the bridges are and pretty much lifeboats and everything like that and then the front first bridge are exactly the same on each side so the, uh, this is just like the other bridge on the other side so yeah simple looking it's a pretty nice ship if you ask me it's one of my favorites this one right here I've built one of my favorite ones to build and it looks pretty cool at least to me it does next up we have the Borrowdale, which is a first-class ship, and I believe it's called the first class because it's their first line of ferries. And uh, if you ask me, the Minecraft version of this does not look good at all. It's like way too top-heavy or way too stacked up. And I'll try to put pictures in of each ship as I go around. You can get a good comparing aspect. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty even in real life. This ship is pretty tall and a very top heavy by the looks of it. But it is a catamaran, which uh, surprised me because you can barely even see where the catamaran part is. And uh, the only reason it doesn't go straight back is just because I had to bring the floor down in the inside. And I'm not gonna go inside because you can pretty much see there's not much going on. And you just got the bridge up here. So yeah, that's the first class. Next up, and it's turning nighttime. Oh crap! Let me turn up my brightness. We'll do this in the nighttime. Why not? So unprepared. So next up is the Lady Huron, or Huron, whichever it's called. It is a lady class, and is the smaller of the lady class ships. There's only two of them. The other one's right next to it. And uh, yeah, pretty small. I like these little. Uh, these pretty much where people stand in here on each side. Then we got seating in the middle, as you can see, and then we got more seating down here. And that's all that's going on with that guy. Next is the Lady Northcott. Northcott, I believe that's how you say that. And it is also a lady class, and it's the bigger version of that one, pretty much, is what it looks like in real life. Just a fatter and longer version. It's pretty nice, too, because you have more room in the middle and you actually have a walk around area on the side. And the lady class, or the the one right there, the uh, Huron, also has the sidewalk. But the thing is that it would look so weird if I put it in. 
So I just put it like that for the sake of making it look good. So yeah, that's why the, that's like that, if you're wondering. I'm not sure how many of you have even been on these ferries. Hell, uh, hell I'd be even shocked if uh, one of you guys have been on them a lot. If you live in Australia, Sydney area, or if you've even been to Sydney and gone on them. So yes, this is the Don Fraser, I believe that's how you say. Fraser, I believe. Yeah, not too sure, like I said. Don't know all these names or how to pronounce them. This is a river cat. And pretty much it's a speed, well, more of a water taxi than a ferry, but it's still pretty much a ferry. So yeah, it's a speed ferry, and it is the River Cat class, which is pretty much, it's just called River Cat because that's the actual name of the ship model that the company that made the ship calls it. And they pretty much just kept this, kept the name. So right here is the Annie, Anne Sargent, Anne Sargent. That's right. And uh, pretty, it's just a smaller version of the River Cat. And uh, yeah, and it's actually, it's the only one, well, that one has an even width too. But uh, that one I had to do at a even width just because that's the only way it would look right. And then these ones are regular odd width. So yeah, these are both, are all catamarans, by the way, if you didn't know that yet. And uh yeah, they're pretty much for uh, quick cruising to uh, point A to point B. These are mostly used for going around Sydney Harbor, and I'm not sure, but this is the Harbor Cat, is what this is called. The class, that is, not the actual name, because the actual name is Anne Sargent. Alright, so finally, we have the Louis Savage. Or Louise Savage, that's right. <laughs> Louis and Louise look pretty much alike, if you think about it. But yeah, this is another speed ferry and these are also is used just for going from point a to point b within the sydney harbor the other ones like uh the big uh, freshwater class can go uh out of the harbor and they'll go to like the, a neighboring city and then drop off and come back so yeah i don't need to look uh i don't need i don't need to go inside because oh shit <laughs> i forgot to put chairs in there oh well it's okay it's the party area D just ignore it <laughs> But yeah, you've got lifeboat, or at least a little life vest stuff right there, because you're in the middle of a harbor, you don't need lifeboats. Because you got other ships that could immediately get to you. But yeah, this is the bridge up here. I actually like this, even though it's kind of weird with the uh, fin in the back. I and mean, It looks a lot more better in real life, which you'll see in the picture. But it, uh, it turned out pretty good. All these actually turned out really well. I was like, I was going to think... Um, because it was, it was starting to be really hard looking at the uh, fast ferries they have. It was looking really hard to do, but I pulled it off. So yeah, that's all seven ships in the Sydney Harbor pack. And uh, this is going to be up for download, of course, as always, on Planet Minecraft. I'll have that link in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Chris, also known as Wolfmind. And goodbye.